Hello, it's Dr. Robbie Wyatt, Chief Clinical Officer for Ergoflex Technologies. I want to talk to you about some other neuropathy solutions and just how powerful oxygen is in relation to that. Um, the next big factor is an anti-inflammatory state, right? The tissues around the area that are in trouble, let's say in the feet with neuropathy, um, those tissues are inflamed. Number one, because they're not getting the blood supply because they're not getting the nerve supply. All right, so that creates uh, an anaerobic state. So the body starts working in fermentation. It's creating ATP at a very inefficient level by fermentations through glycolysis. It's not happening in the mitochondria, it's having, happening in the cytoplasm. So that <clears throat> creates a couple of different things. Number one, um, you're not getting enough oxygen in, which means you're not getting enough CO2 out. So the tissue becomes acidic because fermentation as a byproduct creates several different things, okay? Number one, it creates ATP as an energy source. Number two, it creates water. And number three, it creates carbon dioxide, all right? So carbon dioxide in the tissue actually drives it acidic, all right? We don't have the lymphatic and the blood supply to come in, exchange O2 for CO2, and then actually pull it out of the area. By the way, when it pulls it out in the area, when it goes into the bloodstream, CO2, CO2, 75 plus percent of it is actually carried as a bicarbonate, which is basic, all right? So it starts creating a basic environment in the bloodstream, pulling out acidic environment in the surrounding tissue, crystalline, uh, the, the brown substance crystalline matrix, reducing internal pressure between the cells by reducing the lymphatics, all right? So the anti-inflammatory state is critical. Now, treating neuropathy, you gotta make sure your patients are not eating highly processed foods, all right? So especially if they're diabetic, they need to be eating good, solid, organic foods. So anti-inflammatory diet, uh, goes a long way, all right? An anti-inflammatory nutritional supplementation program goes a long way. The problem is, if you can't get that to the tissue, it doesn't matter, okay? Thiamine is a huge factor in the Krebs cycle and electron transport. But if you can't get thiamine into the tissue because you don't have any blood supply, because the nerve supply is not there, because you don't have enough oxygen getting to the tissue, what's the point? Again, oxygen is the key element in regenerative cell repair. We've gotta get oxygen to the tissues. Not only do we have to get it to the tissues by increasing the body's ability to actually carry it in the hemoglobin on the red blood cells, we have to make sure that it gets perfused into the tissue. That perfusion is directly related to how much swelling and inflammation we have in the area. Swelling and inflammation has to do with blood supply, nerve supply, and lymphatics, right? So the, the key structures in that is oxygen. We have to have oxygen in order for it to start the anti-inflammatory effect. It is critical, critical, critical. The total brain and body O2 is the quickest, most efficient, most powerful way to get the human body to increase the amount of oxygen it can actually carry in the red blood cells, which means we can get it to the tissue so the tissue can start to repair. Absolutely, absolutely key element.